guys. Thanks again for tuning in to my channel. This is Athena's Paranormal Mysteries. I'm Athena, and let's get right to it. Our next topic that we're going to discuss today is about death, and not the actual event of death, but the the angel of death, if you will, um, that comes to you before you die. Uh, I've heard a few stories about this stuff, um, and it's actually really, really creepy. Uh, but I really want to hear your stories. After you watch this episode, shoot some comments below, or send me a private message on my Instagram channel, at Athena's Paranormal Mysteries. And if you want, I can definitely share it on my page. I can share it on uh, my YouTube channel. I would love to hear your stories. I'm super interested in this stuff. My dad had an experience where he says he saw death. And this is the really creepy part. He, we were in Iran. Me, my mom, my sister were in Iran. And my dad was staying in Canada. So we had just gone to visit our family. And then he was here. And two nights before we came back home, he said he started choking on some sort of rice or something and he couldn't breathe. And he's like, I was choking on a piece of rice and he's like, I could not do anything to get myself help. So he's like, I kept trying to breathe. I couldn't breathe. I didn't know what to do. So he like, he was telling us how he like jumped into the car and he like drove himself to the hospital like a G. Um, anyways, at the hospital, they found out that he had a minor heart attack and it wasn't that he was choking. I don't know. I don't know if heart attacks feel like you're choking. I, that's what he said. That's what the doctor said. Anywho, um, he thought he was choking on a piece of rice. Maybe he was choking and he had a heart attack at the same time. I don't know. Um, either way, um, he said as he was choking in the house, he looked over and saw himself standing there wearing all black. It was like a black turtleneck and wearing all black, staring back at him, just like staring like this as he's like feeling like he's, it's his last moments of breath or whatever. And it's just, I'm getting goosebumps because it's just so creepy that, you know, we always think that seeing death is like you're seeing the angel of death you're seeing something you're seeing a black shadow no one says i saw myself if you guys have any situations where you had a, had a near-death experience um and you saw yourself shoot me a comment comment below i really want to hear this and i want to see if my dad was the only one that had this experience um because i found it super weird um, I had someone, it was a family friend, she, she had breast cancer, unfortunately, it was horrible, and she did end up passing away again, unfortunately, um, but two or three days before she passed away, she was surrounded by family friends around her hospital bed, and she kept saying, oh, who's that guy in the corner? And then everybody kept looking and they're like, what are you talking about? And she's like, that guy, he's, he's in the corner and he's, um, he's wearing all black. And she's like, he, like, like the, the, the older guy in the corner, who is that? And they keep looking and they're like, we don't see anyone. What are you talking about? So he was wearing all black too. And he wasn't there when everybody else looked. So I think she was seeing death because she died like two days later. There was another instance where um, there was this girl that passed away uh, in Toronto. She passed away in a bad car accident and um, her mom was telling one of my aunts, because my aunt knew them, um, she was telling one of my aunts, she's like, everything makes sense now and my, my aunt's like what do you mean she's like three days before she passed she kept coming to me and saying mom I keep seeing this shadow 
I keep seeing this shadow following me around. I don't like, I feel like really negative. It's like, I, I keep seeing it. I don't know what to do, whatever. And she kept complaining that she was having a very uneasy feeling. And this thing was not, would not stop following her. And, and she's like, she must have been seeing death. I just think it's so weird that all these, these three people, my dad, my aunt's friend, um, my family friend, they all saw something before they died or almost died. What could, what could this be? Do you know what I mean? Like, is this an angel of death really? Why did my dad's situation have the guy looking like my dad? Why did my family friend situation have him looking like an older man? And why did this, my aunt's friend, have it looking like a shadow, like a, uh, without a, without a face, just a black shadow? What is that? I find it very intriguing that there's always something that was seen right before they died or almost died, but none of them matched. Do you know what I mean? So I find it very intriguing. So, um, I just wanted to look into this online and just see what people are posting about and I'll take you guys with me um, let's go now okay so I put in people seeing the angel of death before they die and a lot of the stuff that they that's coming up is people seeing their relatives before they die um, okay here visions before death 13 people share their stories let's see what this is about okay so, the phenomenon of deathbed visions has been known for hundreds, even thousands of years, yet it remains unexplained, simply because what happens to us after death is still a mystery. By reading others' stories of visions before death, we may get a glimpse of what awaits us after this life. Okay, so let's see. Um, mother's deathbed vision. We have, my mother had been in and out of hospitals over the last year, near death at each admission. She was coherent and not delusional. She had congestive heart failure and lung and kidney cancer spread throughout her body. One morning in the hospital room about 2 a.m., when all was quiet, my mother stared out the door of her room and into the hall that led to the nurse's station and the other patient's room. Mama, what do you see? I asked. Don't you see them? She asked. They walked the hall day and night. They are and they are dead she said with this quiet calmness. The revelation of this statement might send fear into some, but my mother and I had seen spiritual visions many years prior, so this statement was not a shock for me to hear or for her to see. This time, however, I did not see them. Okay, so this time, this woman seeing um, dead people, so not necessarily the angel of death. So we're gonna pass by this one. All the visitors, um, visions of the holy men. Okay, here, maybe this one. I'm writing from Turkey. I have Islamic faith like my father. My father, may he rest in peace, was lying in a hospital bed, dying of colorectal, colorectal cancer. He had two experiences and I had one. My father, only a few days before his death, my father saw in his dreams some of our deceased relatives who were trying to grasp him by the arm. He forced himself to wake up so that he could escape them. My father was awake. Suddenly he murmured the verses uttered by the Imam at prayers in a mosque prior to a dead man's burial. Er kishi niyatin. This Turkish expression means we hereby intend to pray for this dead man lying in his coffin before us. I was quite upset and asked him why on earth he said such a thing. He replied, I've just heard somebody say these. Of course, there was nobody who said so. Only he heard it. He died a day later. Me. In our belief, we also believe in some ho holy people, sheikhs as we call them, who act as outstanding religious figures. They are not prophets, but are superior to us in that they are closer to God. Okay, so it's like a priest, I'm assuming. Um, my father was unconscious. Doctors prescribed some medicine and told me to go out to a pharmacy shop and buy them. It was probably because they wanted me to leave the room so that I would not see him die. Okay, that's not cool. Sorry, but if I'm with my dad and he's about to die and you send me out of the room so that I don't see him die, 
I'm that's that's not okay. Okay, I prayed to God and called my sheiks and begged, please come and watch over my beloved dad when I'm not here. Then I swear I saw them appear at his bed and they told me by some telepathic means, all right, you go now. Then I went out to get the medicine. He was alone in the room, but I was relieved that my father was in their holy hands. And when I got back, only a quarter of an hour later, there were three nurses in the room who stopped me at the door and kindly asked me not to go in. They were preparing my daddy's body to be sent to the hospital morgue. Okay, so that's really, really cool. So I guess I was wrong about the sheiks are not like priests because he, um, he prayed to God and called my sheiks and begged, please come and watch over my beloved dad. That doesn't sound like a priest to me, so my mistake. Um, that's pretty cool, but again, this isn't a death scenario. The dad situation, however, does seem like a kind of like a death scenario because he heard someone uttering the verses of what they say whenever someone dies. So it's not really, but it is something. Um, first of all, I will say if my father passed away and the nurses wouldn't let me go in to say bye, I would be so, so upset. I don't understand why that's a thing that that's not okay to me um okay uncle charlie uh da, 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 da. i found the subject of deathbed visions oddly reassuring as my uncle timmy died this morning at 7 30 a.m he has been ill with terminal cancer for over two years now and we knew the end was near my aunt said she knew it was time to go and asked his son-in-law to cut his hair and trim his beard last night, then asked to be bathed. My aunt sat with him all night. A few hours before he died, Uncle Charlie, you're here. I can't believe it. He proceeded to talk to Uncle Charlie right up until the end and told my aunt that Uncle Charlie had come up to help him over the other side. His Uncle Charlie was his favorite uncle and is the only significant other in my uncle's life who had who has passed on so i believe uncle charlie did come to take until uncle, uncle timmy to the other side and it brings me great comfort that's a nice story um however it's not really what we're looking for um i feel like a lot of these are relatives that have uh kind of been around and and seeing them and taking them to the other side my brother-in-law was dying. He awoke from a nap and asked his wife if she has seen who had pinched his toe and woke him up. She replied that no one had been in the room but her. He said that he was pretty sure that it had been his mom who was deceased. Uh, yet again, another relative situation. Um, that was how she would wake him for school. He said that he had seen her leave the room and that she had long black hair like when he was young. In a short while, he seemed to focus on something at the foot of the bed, of his bed, smiled, and died. Ooh, yikes. That's really, really scary. It's sweet that his mom took him to the other side, but it's, it's, it's kind of scary that he just died out of nowhere. I don't know if he was sick or... Anyway. Um... These ones, dad's dying visions. Okay, maybe this is something. Back in 1979, I moved in with my dying father. One morning I was making him breakfast and he seemed very upset. I asked what was wrong. He said, they came to get me last night and pointed toward the ceiling. Stupid me, I asked, who? He got extremely upset and yelled at me, pointing at the ceiling. They came to get me. I didn't say another thing, but watched him continuously. From that night on, he wouldn't sleep in his room. He always slept on the couch. I would put my children to bed, then sit with him and watch TV. We would talk, and right in the middle of our conversation, he'd look up, wave his hand, and say, Go away! No, not yet! I'm not ready! This went on for three months before he died. My father and I were extremely close, so when he contacted me by automatic writing, I wasn't surprised he automatic writing he just wanted to say he was all right one more thing he died at 7 a.m that night i was all alone in his home i lit a big candle put it at the end of the table lay down on the couch and cried myself to sleep 
I felt so close to him there. The next morning when I awoke, the candle sat three feet away on the carpeted floor. By the look of the burn hole on the carpet right below the end table, the candle had fallen and started a fire. To this day, I don't know how it was put out or how the candle moved to the doorway between the living room and kitchen, but I suspect it was my dad. He saved my life that night and his home from burning up in a fire. That's so nice. Um, okay, this is the only one that I found to be kind of close. I mean, who is he talking to? Who was kind of getting him to come saying, we're going to come get you, we're going to come get you? Who was it? Was it the angel of death or was it relatives? We're not sure, but I mean, this is kind of like that. So a lot of the things that I'm finding online, as you can see, are people talking about relatives and coming and get them. Not really the angel of death per se. So you guys, um, I'm going to end this here. Uh, let me just get back to my big camera. I'm, uh, I'm going to end this here. That's my time. I would really like to know if you guys have had any situations where you know any, uh, of anyone or yourself who's had a situation where you saw a person right before either you had a near-death experience or you know someone that actually did pass away and saw something similar to the things that I told you. Let me know and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, comment, and like this video. Have a great day and I'll see you very soon.